for the pre-fight introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, Square Ring Incorporated along with your undisputed, undefeated King of Beers, Budweiser. This Bud's for you. Present 12 rounds of boxing for the IBF Super Middleweight Championship of the World. Co-promoter with Pelts Boxing Promotions and sanctioned by the New York State Athletic Commission, Chairman, Olympic gold medalist and former two-time heavyweight champion, Floyd Patterson. Commissioners in attendance, Rose Trentman and Melville Southard. Deputy Commissioner in charge, Michael Pascal. First Executive, Tony Russo. Chief Physician at ringside, Dr. William Lathan. Attending physicians are Dr. Richard Estrico and Dr. Rufus Sadler. The timekeeper is Jim Borzell. Counting for the knockdown seconds is Wayne Kelly. This bout is also sanctioned by the International Boxing Federation President Robert W. Lee Sr. IBF supervisor at ringside is Daryl Peoples. The three judges scoring this bout on a 10-point must system will be Don Ackerman, Don Nodiger, and Joe A. Ware Sr. And when the bell rings, the referee in charge of the action, championship veteran Ron Lipton. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from the mecca of boxing, Madison Square Garden here in New York City, uh, let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> Introducing first, in the blue corner, wearing blue and red, and weighing 168 pounds. He comes to us tonight with a perfect record of 16 victories without a loss, and 10 of those are by knockout. Tonight, he comes to Madison Square Garden looking to shock the world. Ladies and gentlemen, from Trenton, New Jersey, here is the IBF, number one ranked super middleweight in the world, the undefeated challenger, Brian. Bibi Brennan! And his opponent across the ring in the red corner, wearing black and silver and weighing 147 and one half pounds, a 1988 Olympic silver medalist who now as a professional has 32 victories without a loss, 28 by knockout, and he has captured two world title belts tonight. He plans to demonstrate to the world that pound for pound, he is the best. Ladies and gentlemen from Pensacola, Florida, presenting the two-time world champion and reigning undefeated super middleweight champion of the world, Roy Jones Jr. Okay, Muggsy, Bryant only. Okay. Gentlemen, you've been given the rules of the IBS. No matter what happens out here, respect each other, obey my commands, let's keep it strictly professional. Good luck to you both. We'll see if Roy Jones is more effective than those bullets that lodged in Bryant Brannan. Faster than a speeding bullet. Boy, you got to start in that corner. <laughs> right, you ready? And there's a look at Brannon. All right, Roy, told you, you ready? got the great physique. Touch! You can see the muscles bulging as he races across the ring and launches a wild right to the body. And Roy Jones stands in a peekaboo as Bryant Brannon throws about eight winged punches in a row. Well, that's a new strategy. Nobody's tried that that I've seen. Have you, have you Gil, against well, Roy Jones? He threw eight punches, but none of them landed. I guess if you fear something sometimes, the best way is to get right as close as you can. Yes, I did see this once before. Do you remember a guy by the name of McNeely that fought Mike Tyson? Yep. Well, he's keeping Jones from getting off to a fast start. Meanwhile, Roy threw one punch, but it landed. Now he lands another little quick left hook in there. A counter. As Brannon continues to pound away with winged shots from the outside, trying to get to Jones's Nick body. Landed one with left hook to the chin on of Roy Jones. Trying to neutralize one of Roy Jones' best weapons, which is his 
is his quickness of foot. Maybe trying to take away some of the punching power by crowding him, too. And he's catching some heavy shots inside from Roy Jones. I think he might be getting under Roy's skin a little bit, though. I mean, Roy hasn't seen this too often and probably doesn't like it much. He's been very calm, I think, though, Jim. Good left hook by Roy Jones. Oh, he rocked Brandon with a solid left hook, and now he's got Brandon wobbled. Here we go. Here we go. Started that was a left to the body that started that whole Again, combination. We mentioned that Jones was so calm weathering that storm, blocking punches, just looking to set the other guy up. And you mentioned, Larry, that the, despite the fact that Brandon was throwing punches, he was getting hit with some short, good, solid punches by Roy Jones. Well, in some instances, it's not how many you land, but how much they hurt. And there's that snapping left hook by Roy Jones again. And there it is again. Wobbles Brandon again. Brandon having trouble for the moment, staying on his feet, lifting, watching closely. Jones blinding Brandon with his overwhelming hand speed. He's getting hit with some solid punches, Brandon. Will he make it through the round? Well, he's holding up about as well as is possible under the circumstances. Got hit two solid body punches by Roy Jones. He's wobbling right now, Brandon. Looks like he might make it out of round one, but he's paid a heavy price for the privilege. And the not-so-terrific news is he gets to come back for round two against Roy Jones. That yeah. was a pound-for-pound pound round. Do you, do you think that that was the same as getting hit with the five bullets, Larry? <laughs> well, those were bombs. Oh, these were, that's right, I forgot that. Hand, hand grenades. Gotta clean this corner, You're trying to, don't walk in without that jab. You're walking in without the jab. Let's see the first punch that started the fuselage of punches. And there you see it. Left hook to the left body. Left hook to the body. Just under the rib cage. Good eyes, Larry. Roy Jones often. There was the one that left hook right on the chin. Roy Jones often performs like a virtuoso jazz artist with incredible riffs coming coming from all directions, always unexpected. Well, Again, there was, there was the Roy Jones left hook. That he, he never sets it up with a jab. He just comes in with it, but he's so quick. I've never seen a guy that can land left hooks from the outside the way Roy Jones can. He's Oscar Peterson with boxing gloves. Now Brandon's going to make this. Look at how calm Jones is in there. Hands up, blocking punches. Look, look. Well, Brandon's just pounding away at Jones's arms and gloves. I mean, at least it gives him the right to throw a lot of punches, which not too many people can do against Jones. But he's getting hit so much in return. He's nailed Jones with a couple of right hands. But again, it uh, doesn't seem to bother Roy at all. Uh, give Brandon credit for standing in. He's a hard man who's done hard time, and he's worked hard to get to this point. He's a very appealing guy. Wonderful personal turnaround in his life. Kind of person you can root for. Jones in the first round after that relatively slow start when pinned to the ropes by Brannon's rush through 102 punches. Again, they're wide punches by Brian Brannon and Jones is picking them off with his arms. Easy to see them coming. They lose their power over that extended arc. Every punch is being blocked by Roy Jones. And he lets the guy throw his punches and he says, okay, now it's my turn. Well, he said he had a bullet lined 
in his neck. Now he's got a bomb there. The Trenton crowd can't believe what they're seeing. They were so psyched for the possibility of Bryant putting up a big fight against Roy Jones. And their man is just getting hammered in there now. Ron Lipton watching as Roy Jones tattoos Brandon. And then Jones says, look, you want more? Okay. A convincing case. Oh, I'm with you. I'm with you. You want to ask again who's the best fighter in the world? No, I don't have to ask that. So he stepped away and looked at Lipton as though he didn't want to hurt Brandon and said, must I do this? And Lipton says, yes, you must. And Roy says, okay. And he starches the guy. How about that, Larry? Well, I thought a one of the qualifications for the best fighter pound for pound in the world is that a fighter has to be willing to fight anyone, anywhere, anytime. I question that about Roy Jones in his recent fights. But well, after a performance like this against a brave, tough guy, you know, we saw what we saw. There's nobody else who can do this. What an incredible gift. Yeah, you can't teach the stuff that Roy Jones does, Gil. No, I've, I've never seen like uh, triple left hooks, uh, seven left hooks in a row so quick and so accurate. I mean, it's unbelievable. And he just seems to have so much confidence in himself. Even when Brandon came out the way he came out, he di didn't bother him a bit. Stayed calm, picked off the punches. He's okay, now, I'll, now I'm gonna throw you, Give me that show you how to do it. 223. And you can see the amount of attention that's being paid to Bryant Brannon as the New York State Athletic Commission doctors do everything possible to ensure that Brannon doesn't leave the ring damaged. Second round KO for Roy Jones. No count necessary after Jones with one final flurry flattened Bryant Brennan. Now here's the first knockdown that took place in the second round, Gil. And let's watch this. I thought it was a flurry of left hooks with a left hook as the decisive punch, but there might have been a right hand in there too. Left, little, left, left, yeah. boom. Left uppercut, double left hook, right on the button. How many fighters do you know that can do that? There is a left uppercut, left hook, left hook. I mean, absolutely, absolutely unbelievable. There's a new combination that he just invented. And each punch with power. None of them taps. And they're short to the mark. Now here's the second knockdown. This is after Jones has looked at, now there he looks at Lipton. You see that? Yeah. What do you want me to do, ref? Oh, okay, fine. What the heck? Boom. Here you can see Brandon doesn't have a leg under him. There's no reason why this fight had to go on. I mean, Jones could see it. I don't know why the referee couldn't see it. Beautiful left hook to end the fight. Short to the mark. I wish we could read lips and understand exactly what Roy said to Ron Lipton. I'm sure that Larry will ask him in the post-fight interview. And there's a guy that was an undefeated fighter. Good show, man. Yeah, that's right. 16 and 0 with 10 knockouts coming in obliterated in two rounds by Roy Jones. And once again, let's point out before we go back into the ring, Jones designated all of tonight's live gate money minus expenses to go to charity. That's the kind of a guy he is. Right now, let's go to ring announcer Michael Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at two minutes and 23 seconds of round number two. The winner by knockout victory, his record now 33 and 0. 29 KOs, still the undefeated super middleweight champion of the world, Roy Jones Jr.